It is apparently a growing trend, beer cocktails. Now found in bars in New York, London, even here in Montreal, Mirella Amato is a master chicerone, and she has just received an honorary knighthood from the knighthood of the Brewer's Paddle in Belgium. So she knows everything there is to know about beer. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Um, the knighthood of the Brewer's Paddle. Yes. It sounds pretty impressive. It does, it does. What it is, uh, is the Belgian Brewers Guild. So this is an organization that helps to, provide, uh, to preserve the history and culture of Belgian beer, and their members are all in the Belgian beer industry, and occasionally they will recognize and nominate someone outside of the Belgian industry, uh, someone who has, uh, according to them, made a significant contribution to beer, so it was <laughs> a huge honor to be knighted. Um. Two of my friends yes. are huge beer lovers. Speaking of significant contributions to, I think, consuming beer would be their trademark. Um, <laughs> but, okay, so I told them about beer cocktails and they were horrified. Really? Absolutely horrified. And one of them said to me, but why does beer need improving upon? It is perfect as is. Why? They're, so they're purists. That's uh, an interesting thing, and I don't think beer needs to be improved upon. I would say cocktails need to be improved upon with the addition oh, okay. of beer. So when I'm talking about beer cocktails, I'm not talking about you know Radlers and Shandies where it's like 50% beer and 50% juice or soda or uh, cider or whatnot. I'm really talking about using beer as an ingredient in cocktails. So those who follow my work know that I've been a huge fan of beer cocktails. There are some uh, in my book, of course, and I release a new recipe for the holidays every year. And, you know, just like people are discovering the many flavors in beer are great for food so pairing, what, they're what, great in cocktails. So we're not, are we talking about, because, you know, I think of cocktails and, and I think of these, these big sort of vats of things that are kind of pink with a little parasol stuck in it is, and, and then beer. Mm -hmm. no. Yes? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, certainly. Okay, um, so my friends have just rolled over both of them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, but but the other thing that I want to get into, which I think is fascinating, is there's an organization called Pink Boots, yes. which you you founded um, an, a, the, the group in Toronto. Culture, yeah. So tell us about that. It's about getting women more interested in the craft of beer. Right? Yes, specifically women working in beer, so supporting them and helping them advance their careers. The organization is based in the US, but it's worldwide. We have thousands of members, 87 chapters, and uh, what we do is we provide scholarship opportunities for women in beer, as well as, of course, networking opportunities and visibility. Because yeah, because it's a real stereotype, right? We just think of, you know, the, these guys, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. It's so male dominated for sure still. But improving. So what is it what would it what is it that women would bring then, do you think? Well, I think um, obviously we bring a unique and different per perspective. We bring uh, diversity, and um, this organization is just fantastic in that um, it provides support for women. I have been very fortunate in my career uh, in the Ontario industry, and certainly here in Quebec, I haven't faced any discrimination. I've always felt very what, in welcome. Terms of, but in terms of brewing beer yep. or in tasting of beers, or, or are you talking about all of that? All of it. So the society unites anyone who works in the beer industry. It's been fascinating to see in the quality control space, which is where I'm working, and also in the sommelier world. I'm sure you've noticed more and more women are getting into okay. that space. So then if a woman is watching right now and they're sitting back and they're saying, so why should I get into, let's say, beer as opposed to any other thing, what would you say to them? What would you say to encourage them? I would say beer is uh, an amazing beverage. There are so many different things you can do in beer. Uh, the science behind how it is created is fascinating. It's very much like cooking. You know, when you talk about mm -hmm. wine, you're expressing the terroir and you're very much at the mercy of the grapes, but beer is like cooking. It allows for a lot of creativity, whether you're into science or history, whatever you're interested in. Um, it's a growing industry and uh, women are welcome and it's just a wonderful place to work. I've been doing it for 12 years, and I love it. Okay, so if you want more information on this, Mirella has a, a website called birology.ca. It's on your screen. She's also got a book out, Birology, and it's also available in French now, too. It right? is, very proud. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Matsumi. We'll be right back.